is Miss Washington. I love you and I miss you. And today is Papa Poetry Tuesday. Yay! <laughs> so I'm going to read you a story, one of my favorite stories. Actually, my mother used to read this story when I was your age. Yes. And she continued to read it throughout my adult life to me as well. So I want to read the story to you. I hope you enjoy it. Um, before I read the story, let's take a look at the cover. Let's take a look at this beautiful cover. What do you see? What do you see? Do you see a girl? What is the girl doing? What is she doing? I see that she's smiling. I see that, oh, she's holding flowers. Wow, what else do you see? What else do you see? I see grass and the grass is what color? What color is the grass? It's green. Ooh, I see yellow. And this yellow represents the sun. Ooh, she has a red beret in her hair, two braids, an Afro puff. Ooh, look at her shirt. They have red, blue, and white dots on her shirt. And she has some green pants on. Well, maybe they're shorts, I don't know. The title of this story is Honey I Love. And the author and the poet, she's an author too because she writes lots of books, but we're gonna call her a poet today because this is a poem. Her name is Eloise Greenfield, yep. And the wonderful person who drew all the pictures, they're called an illustrator, is Jan Spivy Gilchrist. So, hmm, honey, I love. Let's read the poem. What do you think this poem's going to be about? Maybe it'll be about the girl. Let's see. Honey, I love. I love. I love a lot of things, a whole lot of things. Like, look at this beautiful picture. Look at the rainbow. It's raining and she has bubbles and balloons. Then there's a snowman over there, wow. I love my cousin. My cousin comes to visit and you know he's from the South because every word he says just kind of slides right out. That's her cousin. I like the way he whistles and I like the way he walks, but honey, let me tell you, I love the way he talks. I love the way my cousin talks. Here he is again. And the day is hot and icky and the sun sticks to my skin. Mr. Davis turns the holes on. Everybody jumps right in. The water stings my stomach and I feel so cool. There she is, playing in the water holes. Honey, let me tell you that I love a flying pool. I love to feel a flying pool. That looks like a lot of fun. Something to look forward to in the summer, something to do. Renee comes out to play and brings her doll without a dress. I make a dress with paper and that doll sure looks a mess. Look at the doll. She has a paper dress on. <laughs> we laugh so loud and long and hard, the doll falls to the ground. Honey, let me tell you that I love the laughing sound. I love the laughing sound. Ah! <laughs> she loves to laugh. Look at her. She's just laughing and having so much fun. There go the doll, falling to the ground. 
My uncle's car is crowded and there's lots of food to eat. We're going down to the country where the church folk like to meet. Oh, they're getting into the car. Going to church now. I'm looking out the window at the cows and the trees outside. Honey, let me tell you that I love to take a ride. I love to take a family ride. Look at the cows. Wow. Let's count the cows together. One, two, three, and four. My mom is on the sofa sewing buttons on my coat. I go and sit beside her. I'm through playing with my boat. I hold her arm and kiss it because it feels so soft and warm. Honey, let me tell you. I love my mama's arm. I love to kiss my mama's arm. There she go, kissing her mama's arm. It's not so late at night, but I'm laying in my bed. I guess I need my rest. At least that's what mama says. Time to go to sleep now. She told me not to cry because she don't want to hear a peep. Honey, let me tell you, I don't love to sleep. I do not love to sleep. <laughs> Here she is. She doesn't want to go to sleep. Her mama saying, shh, time to go to sleep. But I love, I love lots of things. A whole lot of things. She is so lovable and she loves a whole lot of things. And honey, I love me too. Oh, she finally went to sleep and she's having a dream. She's having a dream of a fairy. She's sleeping. She's dreaming of a fairy. The end. Well, I hope you enjoy Honey I Love, a very special book that my mommy used to read to me when I was your age. Okay, my friends, I love and miss you. Happy Papa Poetry Tuesday. See you soon. Bye.